So for today, we're going to be looking at the Guardian Games 2022 set. If you guys don't know, I have already reviewed the 2022 set. It's right here. You guys can check it out. I also already reviewed the 2023 set, which is right here. You guys can check that one out. Uh, we go over how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it, and give you some tips and tricks about it as well. Uh, very much like those videos just because it's very informative and to the point. Uh, but for this one, we're going to be looking at the individual pieces and making sets out of them. Same thing as this video right here. This is the 2023 set for the Hunters. Uh, all the pieces that we used and this one is no different uh, aside from the fact that i don't think i use the arms for this one so it's only four sets but let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys really really do you guys are the reason why the channel is doing really well because without you guys no one would be watching the content so again uh just really really appreciate you guys other than that let's uh look at some armor sets so the first one we're going to be looking at is not a new one but it is in a new way so what i mean by that is i've already used the knucklehead radar specifically the nine days slash nights ornament in a lot of like tactical looks and i was like man i kind of want to use that one again because a the whisper of the victor strides is the boots that we're showcasing and that one has a glow and i kind of want to lean into that glow so i decided to use the aspiring challenger uh grips because that also has a glow and then the psionic stalker cloak because um obviously it has a glow so a lot of this has a glow aside from the hardened basilisk vest but i was like i don't i think the chest having not having a glow is fine because everything else has a glow so i was like it's okay if this one doesn't have a glow for the cloak for the shader we're gonna be using cryptic insignia because it is the color that is on the night nine days slash nights ornament because that actually doesn't change colors so that's why I'm using uh, Cryptic Insignia, just because that's the color that it is. To be fair, though, I would most likely go for the, the Flawless Shader for uh, Deep Stone Crypt because it's the same glow, just different colors. It would most likely just be the armor is actually black, and it would probably just be reversed. The colors, like the black would be white and the white would be black, or it would just be all black. So that would be really cool. Unfortunately, I just haven't found a team to do that yet, but hopefully one day we can do that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. Definitely really, really like it. it. gives me like a techno soldier type feel, which is what I was going for. And yeah, I, the only, again, the only like negative thing I can say about this set is I will never use Knucklehead Radar. Uh, they, it definitely needs a rework. But once it gets that rework, I have multiple sets that I'm just going to throw on it because I've made some cool sets with it. The next one is going to be Graviton Forfeit. And now this one is going to be funny because I know some people are immediately going to be like, oh, wow, he's using more than two pieces, which if you guys have been following my content, you guys will know that I usually don't like to put more than one piece of armor in a set just because it, I like to challenge myself. But for this one, I decided to use both Abyss Walker grips and Abyss Walker strides because A, I love the fire, the like void fire that it gives off because it gives off the same type and color of the Graviton Forfeit. And because I didn't want like a traditional glow because I wanted the fire effect to be out. So we don't have a lot of, if anything, I think this is the only set that has that fire flame coming out that you can change. No, that you can't. This doesn't change color, but it's the same color as Graviton Forfeit. That's what I'm trying to say. So. That is unfortunate because once you see the Whisper of the Victor, you see it's a different color and not like the same flames. So until Bungie gives us a whole set that has fire, but you can change the color of it, I'm just going to do this with Abyss Walker just because it's it's, it's just easy and I'm not going to fight myself over something dumb. So uh, for the Cloak, Solstice Cloak Rekindled, this is such a good shader. Like I would most likely just, or this is a good cloak. I would most likely just switch out the Amethyst Veil for like Abyssinian Gold because Abyssinian Gold has a much deeper black that doesn't have that discoloration on the top. Because uh, if you guys don't know this, uh, Amethyst Veil has like discoloration a lot when it comes to cloth, which really is annoying. If it doesn't take the blue that the boots and the arms are taking, then it'll take a black that has discoloration, which is really annoying. So that would be the only thing I would switch out. And for the helmet, everybody's glance just because uh Amethyst Veil also has a discoloration with plate armor, so that's also really annoying. But that's more like, like a like an like a second effect, not the main effect, because obviously the chest piece and the boots and the arms don't have that discoloration. But I really really like this set. To be fair, I probably wouldn't switch it out for the other look that I made for Graviton Forfeit, just because that one I am actually like using a lot. So yeah, uh, don't be don't don't worry though. I will make that. Don't worry though, you will see that other set because someone did ask for Graviton Forfeit, which I am still working on. So let me know what you guys think about this one. 
for the next one, this one's interesting because I decided to go with two themes here. One was techno, technomancer type shit, like a techno, like, like a machine person. I don't know what to say. And royalty. And the reason for this is because the Whisper of the Victor, which is the helmet from last year's armor for Guardian games, is techno. It just, that that's the vibe that it gives out. So I was like, I kind of want to lean into that, but also use Sun Apex's strides because Erebos Glance has a really cool orange that mimics the orange of the Sun Strides, or yeah, the Sun Strides uh, Golden Gun. So that's why I'm using Erebos Glance and Whisper of the Victor. I'm um, obviously Vic Victor. As for the next set, we're going to be using uh, a combination of themes here. It's going to be techno soldier meets uh, royalty, I guess you would say. For this one, I wanted to use Erebos Glance for one reason and one reason only. The glow is a good orange that pairs really well with Sun Apex's Stride's Golden Gun. So that's why I wanted to use these. The other reason is because I wanted to use Caliban's hand uh, with the helmet and the boots so that's why i i say techno soldier meets royalty because the arms and the boots give off that royalty feel and the cloak as well but because the helmet is what i'm using i decided to go with eternal vengeance vest because that is the the other techno soldier piece that i have in here not only that surprisingly it, eternal vengeance vest pairs really well with the sun apex strides because you see in the middle of the stomach, it has that orange and then it sprouts out almost connecting a one to one with the boots. So that is really, really cool. My only gripe is maybe if you're if you're tired of seeing Erebos glance, which is completely fair, I do use it quite a bit, then you can switch it out for other shaders that have an orange glow. And we do have quite a bit. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below and I'll write them down for you. Or if you want, I can make videos on that. I mean, to be fair, I mean, that that seems like daunting because I would have to go through each shader, but I do have like three or four shaders off the top of my head that I know have an orange glow. And then last but not least, we're gonna be using the Whisper of the Victor Cloak. This one is interesting because I'm using it in a different way. The reason I am using all of these pieces is because I was going for like a techno soldier type thing. And this is not a new set, by the way, I've made this set a few times, just switch out the arms with the boots. And it's literally the uh, stompy set that I've made. The difference with this one is the fact that the cloak actually goes down depending on the helmet that you're using. So uh, as you should know, Omni Oculus Mask is a helmet that actually takes your hood off. The cool thing though, is that the cloak actually goes down. It doesn't disappear like other helmets. Um, specifically like the it doesn't go away like other other cloaks would and this effect is also shown on another cloak specifically the the grasp of avarice cloak from the dungeon that one also like goes down which is really cool so i'm really happy that we have another cloak that does that just because it's such a cool effect i do wish we could actually do that ourselves without the helmet's help but i mean one we're not there yet unfortunately but for this, we're going to be utilizing the Stalwart Tenant sh shader for one. I love this shader. It's like one of my favorite shaders from Vanguard probably ever just because it's so good. Uh, Omni Oculus Mask because I want the mask, uh, Whisper of the Vic Victor Cloak to go down. The wrong hands with Robo Raptor chassis look super cool together. And Interlace Strides also just kind of completes the whole set as well. So this is not a set that I would usually do just because um whisper of the victor i would probably combine it with something else because it also has really cool interactions uh specifically like if you put like any any shader on the cloak the inside of the cloak has a really really cool effect and i would most likely go for the apilos following helmet and put like put a really dark red on the background for the cloak just to make it seem like hell's behind him i'll hopefully i'll help show you what i mean right now but this is just something I went with because I was like, it's really cool that we don't have a lot of cloaks like this. So I wanted to really showcase that instead. So let me know what you guys think, Hunters. I really, really like a lot of these sets. I know I use Erebos Glance a lot, and I mean quite a lot. There's a few dark colors here, but I do have Stalwart Tenon as well and Cryptic Insignia as well. So hopefully you guys uh, forgive me a little because I do have a lot of dark colors, but I really like going for a darker Hunter. I know that sounds very cliched, but it's just, they would just look cool. I don't know what to tell you guys. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe and I will see you guys later.